Objects give you the opportunity to bring your images to another level. With them, you can blend different elements together as collages or mix together effects for results that can be functional as well as artistic. In this chapter, you'll learn more about objects as well as how you can create, transform, and edit them. Objects float above the base image in independent layers, allowing you to move and manipulate them without affecting other objects or the base image. They not only offer you much more control over your documents, but also offer you a new level of creativity. Once you've created a selection area, there are two ways to make it into an object. One way we already pointed out in the previous chapter. Simply make any editing changes to a selection area and it becomes an object. The other way is to right-click on the selection area and select Convert to Object. The selection area now has an animated marquee surrounding it. And notice that when you mouse over your selection area, the shape of the cursor changes. Click on the selection area and drag it to another part of the image. As you can see, now that it's an object, it floats above the base image. You can move, manipulate, and edit this object without affecting the base image or other objects. You can even drag an object into another document or even drag it into the workspace to make it into a separate document. You'll find that your documents often have quite a few objects. With this in mind, the Layer Manager was created to help you keep track of all of your objects. Go to the Panel Manager and select the Layer Manager. Now you can click on an object thumbnail in the Layer Manager to select that same object in the workspace. This is particularly useful if you want to select an object that's small or hard to select, or when an object is overlapped or hidden behind other objects. Each object is shown as a small thumbnail image, and each object has the following tools. The eye icon lets you show or hide an object. The lock icon lets you lock an object into its position to prevent it from being changed. The way the objects are listed shows the order that they're layered. This means that the top object in the list is layered higher than the objects listed below it. You can easily change the order of the objects by drag and dropping them to a new position in the layer manager. While editing an image, it may be convenient to group objects together so that you can move them as a unit or edit them collectively with a specific tool or an effect. To group objects, press the control key. With the control key held down, go to the layer manager and click on the thumbnails of each object that you want to group together. Now go to the layer manager options and select group. Or just right click on one of the thumbnails and select group. Now you can see that the thumbnails on these objects are marked as group 1 with all the images displayed as a single object. Another simple way to group objects is to press the control key and select each object within the document. Then go to the object menu and select group. In Photo Impact, objects can be edited without affecting any of the other objects and without affecting the base image. For instance, resizing an image is simple. To change the size of an object, first select an object. Next, select the Transform tool in the Tool panel. Now, select the Resize button in the Attribute panel. Now, click on the corner of the Transform box that's now surrounding the image and drag it to the size you want. Notice that the aspect ratio of the box can change, warping the image. If you want your image to be resized, but you want it to keep the same aspect ratio, then just click on the Shift key while you're resizing. Now you can resize the image without warping it. With Photo Impact, adding a sophisticated effect like a shadow doesn't have to be difficult. By applying a shadow, you can give an image new depth, as well as help it stand out from the background. To apply a shadow, first select an object you want to apply the shadow to. Now go to the Object menu and select Shadow, or just right-click on the object and select Shadow. Select the first of the direction buttons to make the shadow go to the lower right. For this sample, select Black as the color for the shadow. Click OK. You can now see how your object stands out from the rest of the image. In this chapter, we've covered objects in more depth by showing you how they can be edited and manipulated separately from the rest of the image. In the next chapter, we'll show you how to acquire images from a digital camera using Photo Explorer, the powerful media management program of Photo Impact.